Hello friends, welcome to our channel. I'm Profil with me, Jason. Hi, Jason. Hi, Profil. Hi, everybody. So today we'll practice like basic English speaking. We'll have a normal conversation with Jason. So Jason, today, what we are going to talk about? Well, Profil, let's, let's talk about pets. Um, I, I think Australia might be similar to North America in, in the views and, and types of pets. But I'm willing to bet in India, things might be a little bit different. Yes, it is. So here, at least, uh, as you've got written down, exactly right, uh, common pets are cats, your dogs, your birds, fish, and reptiles, um, and, and probably in that order for popularity. So. I would say it's equal probably for cats and dogs, but uh, I myself have a cat. I have had a dog. I mean, I, I like all animals. Uh, how about yourself? I personally like dogs. When I was a kid, I, I used to, uh, you know, have one small dog with me, but I'm not a very much pet person, but sometimes I like to have. And once, up, uh, once in a couple of years back, I bought a rabbit to home. But I have to return. You gotta change my mind. <laughs> oh dear! I mean, they're really cute, but I don't know if they make good pets. At least in the city. If you had a farm, it might be different. Yes, rabbit. Also, there are different types. I, uh, I, I did some. Once I bought it and bought to home, then I realized that one is very much aggressive one. I don't remember the name. And one is a bit calmer one. So I thought like I'll right. bring a calmer one, but unfortunately it was a very baby one, but I bought a bit aggressive. So they will grow very fast and <laughs> they will jump around. So then that's why I, people- so did, he, uh, did he trick you? Yeah, was, was, I, he, was he acting nice at the shelter and then and then he got him home and, it, and he turned into a bully? Not exactly. That's uh, after one day I returned uh he was not okay. acting weird but i did some research because when i go to the shop i just talked to the shopkeeper and he just uh, said showed me saying that it was a good pet then once i bought that uh, you know rabbit then i did some research and talked to my friends so they suggested it to return it because it will grow very fast and then it mm -hmm. will be a very strangely so, so you see, buyer beware, do your research before you buy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> see, now I had a cat and he was a liar. <laughs> so this guy, I went to a rescue shelter and he was just a baby. And mm -hmm. I pick him up and it was like a rag doll. You know, he was so calm and perfect and no problem. And then I got him home. And as soon as he was home for, for maybe a few hours, all of a sudden it, it was claws and teeth and flying fur everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's funny. So even when I take him older, I take him to the vet, it, mm. then they're like, oh, what a nice cat. You know, he doesn't move. As soon as he's out, he turns into a big sissy. <laughs> <laughs> and then you take him home and he'll shred your arm off. <laughs> That's, that's really funny. And actually, my daughter likes uh, pets a lot. She always thinking to bring. But one one common problem I have, if I have to travel somewhere abroad or somewhere, where to keep it? Uh, and that's the biggest uh, hurdle I have to have sure. pet. Yeah, I mean, th there's definitely options. I, I I think definitely if you're going abroad out of the country, it's much harder. Um, you, you can get and use boarding services where they stay with somebody and you pay. Uh, obviously, that can get expensive. <laughs> and it's going to be a long time. You know, um, uh, if you're within the country, at least in Canada, you can actually find pet friendly hotels that allow you to take your animal with you into the room. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not so bad. Is, yes. that, is that the thing in India? In in India, uh, people don't go outside. In in India, the the people go usually pets. They can give to the neighbor and uh, you know keep for some time. So that a bit friendly neighborhood, I would say. 
everybody won't like it, but for a couple of days, they can keep it. Or sure. family members and put close in it there. Yeah, community support, well, that makes sense. Yep. So have you noticed any difference in what people like for pets since you've moved to Australia versus your home in India? Yeah, one, I think more like dog friendly and cat, cat is common here. In India, we have like, don't use cat as pets. They'll be roaming around the homes all the time, but they're, they're you know, not pets in a traditional term. Like we, we usually feed them, but they're not pets. They, they just come around homes all the time. Just sort of, uh, they run wild a little bit and, and keep the mice down. Is that the idea? Yeah, that's the idea. And usually <laughs> dog people, nowadays, like uh, dog craze is increasing in India. One of my uncle has like three dogs. Hmm. Yeah, they are big in size and, you know, so people like, I don't, I don't follow the pet's name or the breed. There are, there are so many different breeds in, in cats also. Do you have breeds? Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's all kinds of cats. Uh... And certainly if, if you just, you know, want to be flooded with stuff, you can just type a cats on the internet and you're going to be, you know, seeing a million cat pictures. Yeah, recently I watched one movie in Amazon Prime. I don't remember the movie and it literally says life or something like that. So in 1800 or, you know, 1900, I don't remember the exact date. So one guy was semi a little bit have some mental problem. So he did lots of uh, cat pictures. So he yeah. thousands and thousands of cat pictures. He just, people who, as per the movie, right? He started like the cat as a pet culture. Prior to him, nobody was willing to have the cats as their pet. Hmm. So in the New York Times, uh, he used to do lots of cat drawing in Christmas, and that was a bit interesting movie. Probably you'll like it. I'll send you the movie name later. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I was just amusing myself to see what I could find out about it. And it seems there is 71 breeds of cat. Oh, that's great. How many dogs breed do you have? 339. <laughs> God. Is that crazy? <laughs> yes, how to choose it? It would be extremely difficult to choose one. Oh my goodness, that's amazing, yeah. And so what about birds? Is that a popular pet? Yeah, birds, the one bird particularly, parrot. Oh yeah. I'm sure I'm pronouncing wrongly. Parrot, yeah. Maybe. Parrot. So that is quite popular in LA, uh, in my home, we used to have parrots. Mm -hmm. And now my in-laws have parrots recently, they bought it. And some of my uncle do have. So they talk, you know, this once after sometimes few parrots usually talk, they listen and they imitate. Yeah, that's right. And and they can teach them to speak some words, I think. Yeah. So they few few parrots speak very really nice. So that is very popular pet across Indian homes, in villages and across all people. Right. Yeah, they, they're, they, they're a little bit popular here. I, I don't think birds are the most popular pet in general, but I would say parrots is one of the popular ones for them. Uh, they're expensive. I, I recall going to the pet store and seeing them for a shocking amount of money. I, I want to say over $1,000. Oh, <laughs> that's ridiculous <laughs> amount. In India, it is quite cheap, uh, very less amount of money, maybe... Less than a hundred bucks. Not Let's in pet store. What? Yeah. Well, interesting. So I'm seeing a lot of price range. I was just kind of curious about it. Maybe in the city, it. the price is a bit very, but I, I come from a small village. So it is surrounded by forest. So lots of people, they get, Catch that wild parrot and they give it to you. So it is again a negotiable price, sometimes a bit cheaper. And sometimes yeah. you get in $10, $20 as well. Hmm. 
Yeah, but, you can't get anything for that anymore. I don't think you can even get a gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but dogs uh, are pricey in India as well because they're uh, breeding. You know, they they cost they they have a wide range of cost. Just for fun, I was just looking at some listings here from private sellers. I'm seeing 975, uh, 1,400. <laughs> oh, so parrots gross. are very expensive. And, and uh, macaws, I don't know if you guys had those. They're kind of like parrots. Uh, I believe they can also uh, make some speech sounds as well. Um, I think they're quite a white color bird. Yeah, they're not available in India, I think. I think here I seen in Australia Zoo or some nearby. Yeah, uh, and then on the budget end though, then you hear budgies, you know, I, I know a lot of people who have had budgies uh, and they're relatively cheap. They're, you know, mm. uh, maybe 50 bucks a bird. Well, this one's for 30 for two, so yeah, that's cheap. Okay. Uh, but they're then less interactive. They, I don't think they speak or maybe very limited. Okay. So what are the food you fed to your kids? You buy some food or you prepare some food and how are it? Uh yeah. Well, I think I think I go with kind of the lazy way and just use the the formulated food. So I I had heard that it was best to give them some dry food and some wet food in a day. So I actually feed up mine twice a day. It's a little bit mm -hmm. spoiled. And he um, I give them dry food in the morning and then a canned wet food at night. Mm -hmm. And how, what is the life expectancy for the cats versus the dogs? Do you have any idea how many years uh, they do live? Approximate. It's actually kind of similar. Uh, I would say on average between 12 to 20 years, depending. Yep, yep. Because sometimes losing a pet is very much... Uh, emotional experience as well. That's right, because then you, you always get stuck with it because the lady of the house is too busy uh, being upset, sends you to the vet for the for the dirty work there, so. Yes, because but, my uh, wife had a one pet dog. So after sometimes uh, he or she got sick and uh, it was a bit uh, not good uh, mom moment. No, yeah, and, and it can be unbelievably expensive if you try to save them if there's a, you know, if there's something exotically wrong. I know I, I had put down my last cat uh, with cancer. I mean, they offered to do a treatment, but it's thousands of dollars and there's no guarantee that it will even work. Hmm. Yeah, so maintaining the pets also sometimes a bit expensive, isn't it? Oh, it definitely is. I don't think it matters what kind of pet, but I can say I've had a dog and I've had a cat and I found the dog was very expensive to maintain. Okay, so uh, you had a dog and cat together at one point? For a bit, yeah. So do they fight with each other or do they mingle with nicely? Um, it was a bit of both. It was a problem in the end because... I tried to teach them not to fight when they were when the puppy was small because at that point they were about the same size. But you know, later on, then the dog and the cat wanted to fight again, and, and you know it's just play fighting. But you, you would see the whole cat disappear into the dog's mouth. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, that's uh, you know, even though he was not necessarily intending to hurt he was starting to hurt him just because it was just so much bigger and heavier and more powerful right yeah um what about fish though do they keep fish for pets there yeah fish uh, lots of people keep once i return the rabbit i bought that fish but i don't have experience to maintain the fish so they died very soon maybe i overfed oh them oh dear yeah, it could be. Um, there's lots of factors. Fish are kind of a little more complicated to keep. And, and they're surprisingly more work than you think because 
you know, you need to be uh, replacing the water and cleaning the tank every every week. So it's a lot of maintenance in that you, sense. You like fishing a lot, but do you keep fish as a pet as well? <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Um, I've, I've had fish as a pet years ago when I was young, but not ones that I caught. And in fact, it's illegal to transport game fish in Canada alive you have to kill them when you catch them oh okay and about the cats i have one question like dogs you can take them around like to the park or uh, to the you know somewhere outside as you walk but i don't see many people take their cats outside is there any reason for that well that's uh that, that's the nature of cats they're not they're definitely not the same as dogs. Dogs have uh, uh, an interest to stay with you. They want to. They want to be close to you. They want to be always interacting with you. Cats choose to interact with you when they feel like it, and most often just want to go and do their own thing. So, uh, getting a cat to actually follow you and stay with you and and be interested in what you're doing. You know, they don't respond well to being guided on average and and they're not really suitable for um, extended walks. And do some people have some exotic animal like like pee, uh, like snake or something like that? Sure, sure. Uh, I did have actually a lizard at one time. I don't even recall what the breed was. It was a pretty small lizard. Mm -hmm. um and they're not bad you know they're somewhere in between the bird and fish because they've got some needs i think they're less maintenance than the fish uh but possibly a little bit more than the birds because they often need a little bit of an exotic food you know such as lies crickets yeah or something mm -hmm. like that uh so that can be extra work and costs involved with that but you know I, I liked it it was uh it was cute and he would kind of crumb and crawl around on me a little bit and it was all right I, I think though at least for me if you want a pet that's going to be interactive and fun uh then you want to stick with the cats and dogs on average yep i think few people have tortoise as, as well as, as a pet which tortoise total tortoise uh, i'm pronouncing wrongly probably oh there we go i, I got you now you want to say tortoise so quite Tort different yeah Tor tortoise 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 i think we're yeah i'm always Tort seeing it tortoise the, the. well yeah, that's how it's spelled, but not how it's pronounced. I, I got you. It's uh, it's one of those tricky ones. Or you could say turtles, which is the yeah, same, but maybe maybe a little easier for you. Yep. Um, they're technically two different breeds, of course, but generally the average people kind of use it interchangeably. Mm -hmm. um, turtles. I think the difference, if I'm not wrong, is that are the ones that go in and out of water and tortoise they'll stay on land they live on land okay but yeah um they're, they're not super common as a pet here you can find them if you look hard enough um i i, I don't know if they're making amazing pet or not uh, mm -hmm. i've seen a few videos that were very cute especially with the tortoises that they could get out and uh, they eat vegetables and fruit, and, and they're kind of fun to watch. But yep, yep, they're not very common in India as well. But few people bring it from somewhere, like maybe from seesaw or somewhere. And it was very fun to interact with them. Absolutely, and you know what you didn't cover here, but uh, there's also the somewhat exotic pets. Some of them are getting interesting. I, you know, I've seen these. Uh, mini mini pigs um i think yeah there's a few different ones there's uh pot belly pigs but they get a little bit big but i think there is a cup pig that's a kind of a cup i'm gonna get the exact thing because 
I saw it. Yeah, teacup pigs. Mm-hmm. If you Google that up one day, teacup pigs are absolutely tiny and incredibly cute. Okay, sounds good. I think there are different variety of uh, rats as well, right? Rats. Rats, yeah. Um, Guinea pig or I don't... Yeah, I think one. rats are less popular. They, I think they've gotten more popular than they were when I was young, but I don't think they're incredibly popular yet. Uh, uh, gerbils and hamsters, I think. Yeah, hamster, yeah. Of, you know, sort of rodents. I think gerbils and hamsters are the most common. And then perhaps um, actually the rabbit is, is actually technically part of the rodent family. So uh, rabbits are, are a little bit popular. I've known a few people who've had them. Um, that's where I say I don't think they're the most amazing pet because they don't seem very interactive. They don't seem to be too interested in being involved with the people they just kind of run around and and that's okay but not my kind of pet i guess yep yeah i think we had a very good discussion today jason about the pets do you have any other thing to add um no i think that's it <laughs> yeah sounds good have a uh, nice talking to you jason All right. Thanks so much, Prof. We'll take care. Bye-bye.